Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to uh, create a team using um, this wheel right here and it's going to randomize um, from all the picks. So I went on, uh, for the Sinister Cup, I went on PV Poke and copy pasted everything from the Sinister Cup, all the Pokemon listed um, for PV Poke, I think it was 93, and pasted them into this wheel. And um, you'll notice, well, maybe you won't be able to notice, but there are actually only 86 picks on here versus the 93. And that's because I decided to take out first evolutions that were on the list because um, it's going to cost way too much dust and their viability is really, um, they're really not that viable. So like Spoink was on that list at the very end and I'm not going to power up a Spoink and maybe give it a second move. So basically what uh, this video is going to be about is I'm going to get a random team of six here and then I'm going to attempt to battle uh, someone with that team and <laughs> all I can hope for is that I get one or two decent like decently good picks or hopefully something I don't have to power up too much um, but let's go ahead and get started. I've never done this before so we're both going to be here uh, together figuring this out. So we're going to go for the first spin here. And let's see what we get. So our first pick here is Bennett. Not too bad actually. Um, ghost type, um, I would say on the fringe of being a meta pick. Not really in the meta, but people will use it and it it's actually pretty decent. Um, I believe it has shadow ball on it. I guess I'll figure that out later um, when I actually start creating this team. But I actually think I already have a bayonet built. So that is already an awesome first choice for me there. So uh, one thing we might notice, um, my team probably won't be very, well, you see right here, mischievous. So my team may not be very well balanced, uh, as Mistrevious is also a ghost type. Now we have two ghosts with Bennett and um, and Mistrevious. So let's go ahead and go on to the next pick. Espeon, interesting pick right here. Um, so Espeon is one of the Eevee evolutions, and it is a Psychic type Pokemon. I believe it's pure Psychic. Um, I don't think it has Confusion. Um, I don't know what its fast attack is, so I guess we'll get that later too. But not a Ghost Pokemon, so already on the right track. Really going to be wanting to look for a um, fighter and a tank at this point. And we have Drifloom, another ghost Pokemon. So right now we have three ghosts and a Psychic. I do already have a Drift... Oh, no, Drifloom. Hmm. I think we're not going to make a Drifloom because it is... I believe it maxes out at a 1,000 or something like that. So let's go ahead and not count this pick and reroll it. We really want to get to something that's close to 1,500. Bronzong. So Bronzong does have Confusion as one of its moves. Actually, Bronzong also on the cusp of uh, of a meta pick here, on um, the cusp of Tier 1, probably a Tier 2 Pokemon in this cup. So that's awesome. Bronzong and Binette, really good um, two right there. And we already have four picks down, two Ghosts, two, two Psychic. Uh, Bronzong also has um, the Steel Typing. Uh, but we're really going to be looking for a fighter now. We're, we're desperate for a fighter, and uh, we really like a tank as well. But with two picks, we'll see what we get. What do we got? Giraffe Rig. Confusion user. Uh, Giraffe Rig also, I believe... Oh, it has a second typing, but I don't know what it is. Um, it's Psychic and... Uh, well, I'll have to check what it is uh, when we uh, 
get to making the team. But I know it is a confusion user as well. Um, I don't believe his charge moves are very, very good or very easy to get to. Um, so let's see what our last pick is. And the last pick is Hitmontop. So we did get a fighter, y'all. That's really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, not one of the better fighters, but we can't complain. We got a fighter. The only thing we really missed out on in this draft is uh, we didn't get a tank. Um, but that's okay. We'll see uh, how this goes. We A lot of comps uh, recently have been going um, double ghost and a single fighter, so... Maybe we can do that too. Let's go ahead and uh, create this team real quick. So we finished uh, creating our team here, and uh, before we start the video, or before we start the battles, I want to uh, preface this with, uh, we actually played, I played 8 against uh, Arctic, which is the player we're going to be featuring today, and um, I'm only going to show the first 5 games we played, and uh, I'll go over the record at the end of that, and we played against a rival and an age trainer as well with this team, but we're only featuring Arctic. If you want me to show those battles, go ahead and let me know. Um, I can do that in another video. This was going to get way too long if, uh, if I included all of that. Um, I can go over the records at the end of this game as well. Um, but yeah, let's start the battles. Um, so this first game, we start out with Bronzong, and we have Hitmontop and Bayonet in the back. I think that this is the most balanced lineup that we can create 
from our um, from our team makeup here. And as you can see from his team of six in the bottom right, uh, he's got a really good team. Um, and we start off in a pretty bad matchup, but we have no way to really deal with t uh, this tank. I guess we could bring in Hitmon top, but then that's if we lose him on top, we have no way to ever take out the Steelix. So we get a little lucky that he switches out. We have the switch advantage now, and I can switch into my Ghost, which is going to have an even matchup, versus the Dusclops with his HP being at a disadvantage. Otherwise, Bayonet does not win that in the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so we take out the Dusclops. He brings in Steelix, and I shield there because I'm so close to another move. I need to try to gain, uh, I need to try to take out some of his resources. So we do get a shield and we're just going to let this bayonet uh, go down now. Um, I should be bringing in Hitmon top to farm down the Steelix, but he does a really good switch out in, into uh, Drifblim. And we go for the Stone Edge here. Actually Hitmon top's coverage I thought was um, really actually amazing. Uh, if he had maybe one more better charge move and had the Stone Edge, you know. He might be better. Um, we swap into our Bronzong just to take the hit from Drifloom here to try to get to another Stone Edge. Um, we get a little bit of lag there. Not sure if we would have won or not there, but we do take the loss here. Uh, we go into the second game. We're going to try out a couple more of these uh, Mon that we have, Mistrevious, as a Ghost. So it's Ghost on Ghost here at the beginning. Um, Drifloom obviously is a Tier 1. Uh, meta pick here, so I assume we're not going to be able to uh, survive. Um, so one thing I notice here, and it's going to be a theme of this, is that it's really it takes a long time to get to these charge moves on these mon, and I have a feeling that this is the reason. This is one of the reasons that these mon are not in tier one um, because it takes so long. Now he doesn't actually block that one, so we end up taking out Driftblim. And he brings in Bastiodon, he's just going to farm us down. Um, but we have him on top in the back, so we're going to have a good matchup here. Um, I bring in Giraffe Rig for some reason. I think it's because I don't have any shields and I want him to take the uh, charge attack. But that's not a great idea, yeah, because then it gives him switch advantage. So, really bad play on my part. Um, I was trying to just conserve the hit on top, but I don't think we can do that uh, uh, reliably. Uh, we'll ha we have to take any advantages that we can get, and um, losing the switch advantage there is just super detrimental. So yeah, he takes us out in uh, game two, and we're down zero two. And we start this game out with Hitmon top into Polyrath. Not a great matchup. We're gonna farm a little and then swap out on the uh, charge attack here, which is going to be a power up punch, which doesn't do very much against Bayonet. Now he swaps into Bastiodon, and we're just gonna throw out a charge move here. And if he ever does a charge move, we're definitely not gonna shield. Um, although we're really close. Oh, we almost make it to a second Thunder. Or is it Thunderbolt? Um, I don't remember. Anyways, we end up bringing in Hitmon top and we're able to farm him down. And since we farmed him down, we have enough for a Stone Edge here against the Drift Blim. And we're really close to a second Stone Edge. Um, I'm not sure I need a shield there, especially since he's been using Ominous Wind uh, this entire match. Uh, we do get to the second Stone Edge here, but he is able to um, shield it. And he gets to his Ominous Wind here and actually takes us out. And he gets the uh, the buff there. So um, the buff doesn't really matter there. We would have really needed to get to the uh, Stone Edge. And there is an overtap there by me because of the uh, um, confusion. I didn't wait for it to end, I believe. I also think I was getting a little bit of lag, which is why you saw me move off of the Wi-Fi there. So game three, things or game four, I should say, things aren't looking that great. We do get a good lead here, though. Hit him on top into Steelix, and we do a little bit of farm up. And I decide, uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the Stone Edge here, try to gain a shield advantage, and swap into Bennett. Now ghosts cannot take any ghost charge attacks uh, from each other since it's super effective. It's going to 
very nearly one shot um, uh, most ghost Pokemon. But we do end up farming it down. It does cost us two shields though, and we throw out the uh, Dazzling Gleam here, which is not very good against the steel typing of um, Steelix. Uh, but we are able to get to the Thunder uh, right after that with an under tap and we do get the shield so that's really good for us and i do the same thing here again i swap into um giraffe rig in order to eat the charge attack but it didn't even matter if i take the charge attack on hit on top it wouldn't have done very much damage so really bad swap by me there um and i lose my hit on top for it so Giraffe Rig comes in and we do one attack and we just we wait this time for the under tap and we get the Thunderbolt off to take the Steelix out. So we win that one, but um, my play has been pretty suspect in a couple of these games. So hopefully it gets a little better here in uh, the last game that we have here, game five. So pretty good start for us. We get a little bit of mutual lag, it looks like. I can't even tell. There's a lot of lag in these games, but um, you know, you gotta play through it. So we end up taking a shield from his Polyrath here, and I think that he was storing energy. Yeah, he does an Ice Punch, which takes out Binette. And we bring in our Espeon for the first time, and Espeon's gonna be doing a ton of damage to Polyrath because Espeon does have Confusion. And he brings in Dusclops, uh, really good against Espeon. I really need to work on the minigame for the Psychic attacks. And I try to swap out into hit him on top, but um, we don't get it off in time. And I'm just gonna let him go. Uh, I have two shields right here, so I am going to want to um, use them as I can. And he brings in the um, the Bastiodon, and I decide to use a Gyro Ball because I don't think I can finish him off without him using a Charge Attack just on the basic attacks. So. Uh, yeah, I used the uh, Gyro Ball, and actually I undercharged it so that I could have a little bit more farm, and then we take out the Dusclops. So this is the team that um, the Random Wheel decided, the uh, Wheel of Sin, as I'm calling it, for the Sinister Cup, decided uh, what team I was going to get. Um, just uh, some information on this team, it seemed like Hitmontop was actually decent. Um, not going to be very good in the tier one like if you play in a tournament it's not going to be very good just because it's missing a lot of coverage uh, well it's not missing any coverage its moves take so long to get to it actually has counter and i love stone edge on it but um without a second move that's going to be fast uh energy or fast to get to energy wise he's really going to be not that great uh, Bennett, I also thought was a really good pick. I can see Bennett doing well in um, in a normal tournament setting. Um, and then Giraffe Rig and Bronzong did okay. Um, you know, they did their jobs as Confusion users. I really liked uh, Bronzong with the ground coverage. You know, you could somehow sometimes get a win against um, one of the Steel types, uh, as you saw in the first game we actually got off uh, a ground move against the Steelix and it did about 35-40% of his health. So we were in a bad matchup there and it was able to uh, bring us back. Now the two Pokemon I really didn't think did well in this were, uh, or that I didn't like as much, were Espeon and Mistrebius. So Espeon actually I think won the only match we brought uh, it into, but if you saw the charge moves, they're both one bar charge moves, so with confusion, um, it could be okay because you're mainly using confusion users for confusion, but there are better options out there such as Bronzong, uh, gets to his moves much quicker, of, uh, especially like Psy Shock versus the future site of Espeon. And uh, Mistridius, I really didn't like at all, um, felt really frail. I only. I only had one move on it, but it was a three bar move, and it still felt like I wasn't getting to that move as fast as the other Pokemon because the other ghost types are using um, Shadow Claw, which is really energy efficient, really high damage, and Mistrevious is just not beating them to the moves. So, 
Um, like I said earlier in the video, this was just five of the games of the eight we played. He actually, um, we, we, I went three and five versus Arctic and, um, he actually has a channel himself. I'll leave the link below. You should definitely check out his videos. I think the last one he put up there was the mirror cup of the West, uh, which he went six and two in. So really check him out. He's awesome. And then, um, if you want me to put the games, we played against, like I said, Arrival, and we did really well. And then we also played against an ace trainer, um, Call Me Jake, another YouTuber, and he destroyed us with a Tier 1 team. So if you want me to put those out, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I didn't want to put them into this video because this video would have been like 40 minutes long or something insane. So uh, go ahead and let me know. Maybe I'll make a video of uh, both of those um, players in one. Um, and then if you like this uh, format or whatever you want to call it that we did here with the wheel picking a team of six, also go ahead and let me know that. Um, we could do it maybe one or two times um, per per cup. Uh, I don't want to do it more than that just because it's going to be such a stardust um, drain and um, that's probably going to be a little too much for me. But if you liked it, maybe we can use this team against uh, other people as the meta forms throughout the month. Um, with that, though, thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.